Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and 7 Questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Questions with Emmy. Today I'm talking with Bonnie Wetzel, the owner of Duck Donuts. Thank you so much for talking with me today, Bonnie. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited because your donuts are so good. Have you tried them before? Yes. They are yummy. Good, I'm glad. Yes. Um, let's get started with the questions. Okay. Question number one. How did Duck Donuts get started? Duck Donuts actually started in Duck, North Carolina. So uh, one day there was a family that was vacationing in the Outer Banks and uh, Russ DiGiglio is the dad and he was vacationing there and he decided um, there was no donut shops on their vacation and he decided it would be a really great place to have a donut shop and so he and his family started the first donut shop over there in the Outer Banks and we brought it here to Idaho Falls. Uh, question number two, how many donuts do you make a day? Hmm, <laughs> that is a good question. On our really busy day on Saturday, we probably make about 3,000 donuts. That's so much. Uh, that's a lot of donuts, huh? But during the week, maybe we make about half that many maybe about 1,500 donuts a day. Because we not only make donuts, but we also have ice cream, Reed's Dairy ice cream, and sundaes, and coffee, and breakfast sandwiches. So you we do- milk milkshakes. Milkshakes, yes. So we do a lot of other things, not just donuts. Yes. Um, why did you want to open a donut shop? We decided to open a donut shop because everybody loves donuts. And when people come in, they're so happy to be here and happy to have donuts. And a lot of times um, when people get donuts, it's because they're celebrating something. And so I love to celebrate things. And see, you came in to get donuts for your birthday, right? Yeah, the other day. Yeah, so I think it's so fun to celebrate things. And um, donuts sometimes are a special occasion to do that. So that's why we thought it would be a great place, great thing to open a donut shop. And you get to smell the goodness of donuts. Yes, and you always get to smell the goodness, yes. And sometimes I go home and I smell like donuts. Yeah, but that's okay, it's good, huh? You get, free, <laughs> you get free donuts, don't you? I do get free donuts, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite flavor of donut? Mm. Well, my favorite flavor is called the Sunrise. It is a lemon I donut. Love that one. You like that one? Yes. It's a lemon donut with raspberry drizzle on it. But you know what my husband he says that his favorite donut is whatever donut it is in his mouth. So any donut that's in his mouth is his favorite. Well, that's pretty good because they're all really good. Good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's something you've learned about being a business owner? Something I learned about being a business owner is that it is a lot of work. It's hard. Sometimes people come in and they just think, oh, this is easy. But there's actually a lot of things to do when you're a business owner, not just working in the store, like some of these guys are working back here in the store, but there's a lot of things that you have to do outside of the store, like ordering products, if we run out of donut mix, then what would we do, right? So ordering products and um, going to the bank and making sure you have money and scheduling employees, making sure that you have enough people. We can't predict how many customers we're going to have. And so sometimes we might get a whole bunch of customers in here but not have enough employees. Or the opposite could happen. Sometimes we have a lot of employees because we think it's going to be busy, but not so many customers. So there's a lot of other things that you have to do when you're a business owner, and that's kind of some of the, some of the things that are hard that I think people don't think about sometimes. Um, can you make any of the donuts blindfolded? Oh, that would be really hard. That would be hard to make one blindfolded because they're all custom. And I think um, uh, it might be fun to do a blindfolded taste test. Maybe we could do that. A blindfolded taste fun. test. Somebody could make a donut and we could guess what's on it blindfolded. But I don't think I could make a donut blindfolded. No. No, that would be a mess, huh? <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, because you could be like, okay, I have to make a glazed donut with sprinkles. That's going to be easy. You end up putting like bacon and yeah, chocolate. Yeah, you end up putting stuff on it because you just grab whatever and you wouldn't know what was going on. That'd be super hard. It would be really hard. What's the uh, best piece of advice that someone has given you in the donut industry? Mm. Well, the best piece of advice would be just to keep moving forward because um, when we first started, it was really hard. There was a lot of things that, um, that were really hard for us to figure out. And the best advice was just keep moving forward until you can't. And so we would solve one problem and then we would keep moving forward and something else would happen, but we would just keep moving forward. So I think sometimes um, in life, sometimes we get discouraged about things but if you just keep moving forward and don't quit, then you can do a lot of great things like you. Look at that, right? Yeah, and now it's time for, uh, I have a little bonus question. Okay, what's your bonus question? Can I work here and I go? Yes, that would be so awesome. I would love it if you worked here. It'd be so fun. That would be really great. That would be really fun, I would love it. And maybe I'll get Paid a little extra, maybe? maybe? Yes, 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 absolutely. And you know what? When you work here, then you can eat all the donuts that you want. Really? Yes. <laughs> Would you like that? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm bring home like 5,000 boxes of donuts. <laughs> Yeah, you could. That would be great. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me today. Would you like to make a donut? I would love to make a donut. Okay. We got to get ready to make donuts. Yes. Okay, first, let's put an apron on. So cool. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah, I know. You can save this one for me for when I work here. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. We'll put your apron on. And I'll put my apron on. And then do you want to put a hat or a, a visor on? I don't care. You get to I'll choose because you get to take it home. <gasps> Cute. Yeah. I'm going to put my ponytail through it. Okay. Kay. Awesome. That's perfect. These ones will probably maybe be a little bit big, but let's see if you can get these ones on. When we top the donut, we're gonna top it upside down. So, so that's the top and turn it the other way. That way when we dip it in our topping and we turn it over, it's gonna look pretty on the right side, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's think about which kind you wanna make. So here is chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, lemon, maple, peanut butter, Blueberry, glazed, powdered sugar, or cinnamon sugar? I want to do powdered sugar. Powdered sugar? Yeah. Okay. Powdered sugar, you just plop it in there and turn it over. Okay, and, so. Yep, you're just going to plop it in. And then do it. Yep, and turn it over and keep plopping it in like that. So get it on the back too? Yep, you okay. can get it on the back. So cool. Yep. Yeah, there you go. And then, do you want to put um, anything else on it? Um, can I put some sprinkles on it? You can. Sprinkles aren't going to stick very well to that, but if we put like some raspberry on it, then sprinkles would stick to it. Can we put marshmallow? Yes, marshmallow on it. Yep. Yep. So you can just go back and forth. Do you have to squeeze it? Yep. Or? Turn it upside down and squeeze it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then you can put some sprinkles on it and just shake them out like salt. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. Does that look Thank yum? You. Yes. Okay, and what about dad? Surprise me. Can I make it for him? Yes. I like chocolate. So we chocolate. Chocolate, okay. How about if we do a s'mores one for dad? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to, before we dip it in the chocolate, we're gonna stir it up a little bit. Here, come over here and maybe you can reach better. Yeah. We're gonna stir it up a little bit. And then we're gonna just drop it in. Let me do one first and then okay. we'll get another donut for you. Okay, we're gonna just drop it in. 
Then we're going to pick it up and twist it. And so that, there's nothing in the hole? So there's nothing in the hole. Okay? Okay. Seems Kay. easy enough. It seems easy, yep. Okay. Okay. So now, here, you can come over here. So we stir it up a little bit, okay? Drop it in. Yep, now just pick it up and twist it. Just like this, yep. Yeah, perfect. Yes! Okay, now this is graham cracker. Okay. You can pour that on. Do you want to put your donut down right here? Yeah. Yes. I don't think we should do too much because I don't know if Dad likes graham crackers. Okay. I think that. Good. And then s'mores have marshmallow on it, right? Do you, yeah. ever, do you ever cook s'mores when you're camping? Well, I've never been camping, but. Okay. We've well, over a fire. I've cooked s'mores before, yeah. Yes. Perfect. A little bit. Okay. Okay. That looks yummy. Look. Thank you so much for watching Send Me Questions and thank you for letting me interview you, Ronnie. Thank you for coming. I'm so glad that you did. Now let's see how we did. Good. Mm -hmm, good. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and Send Me Questions with Emmy.